All right. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Khadija. And good evening to all who will view this footage. Um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you. Thank you for the invitation. For, um, you know, for coming in on this conversation that we're having here now about the Leeds West Indian Day Carnival. It is indeed a, a pleasure and an honor to, you know, to, to be here to make this offering. Yeah, so, you know, so thank you, thank you. The contribution that I want to make will focus less on the history of the Leeds West Indian Day Carnival because there are historians in Leeds who can speak more ably than I can to the fact that the, to the history of the carnival, right, in, 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 the, in the Leeds context. Instead, what this contribution will do is speak a little bit about carnival, uh, its cosmology, um, and examine the ways in which some of the, some of the tenets of, of, of what carnival is can matter to the reading of carnival, the reading of carnivals, and hopefully specifically as well, the carnival that is the Leeds West Indian Day Carnival inside of a UK context. All right. Um, so where do we begin? We could begin by looking at carnival as a global phenomenon, which is how when we teach it here formally in the Caribbean, and this is how it was taught to me by my teacher, Roy Gibbons. Um, we look at the carnival as a global phenomenon. Now we could easily begin by looking at the Trinidad Carnival because the Trinidad Carnival is the model that is transplanted in so many other spaces um, when we do these carnivals that are now called um, West Indian style or Caribbean style carnival. But what we prefer to do is to look at it as a global phenomenon and then start, you know, and start mapping how it behaves and so on. In, in that teaching, we usually begin by looking at Egypt as early or earliest civilization and the story surrounding the god king deity named Osiris, around whom there is a myth about a family member that was jealous of him that would put him in a coffin and sail him down the river Nile, almost like the story of Moses, I suppose, that would find the body again and cut the body up into pieces of a wife wife of Osiris that is, who would find those pieces and put that body back together, that would discover the penis and put the penis back onto the body, would have a relationship with that body that was reassembled and because the body is now resurrected, she might impregnate herself and so on. And what that meant in in and to the civilization, right, that, 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 that remembers Osiris. That civilization in honoring him as God King would now have festivals, processional festivals, right? That celebrate fertility and the flooding of the Nile and resurrection and so on. That is directly linked to Osiris as king. Pause. In terms of the march of civilization, that same king, God King, Osiris, would become transplanted in the next major civilization, and that's the Greeks. Um, the Greeks, as you know, are the are the fathers of, 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 of Western civilization, of Western understanding. Uh, we teach our students this in Western theater history. Um, we, we all come to accept this as true about Western civilization. And what we know is that some of those principles, those energies that were there in these original gods in the civilization before it was Egypt, were transplanted into the, into, 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 uh, into, into the Greek civilization and according to some of its historians, Herodotus, chief among them, suggests that you know that they were renamed. By and large, they were renamed um, because the civilization found value with the, with the energy and paid homage to these energies. And so that god, formerly known as Osiris in Egypt, is now named Dionysus in Greece. Pause. Dionysus, because, because we are teachers of theater, Dionysus is the god of revelry, fertility, illusion, and so on. Dionysus is the deity in whose honor theater is practiced. The Dionysus festival is the space for the practice of classic Greek theater. 
Pause. One of the playwrights, a couple thousand years ago, practicing at festival time in this Dionysus festival, in the Dionysus festival, by the name of Euripides, writes a play, a play called the Bacchae, that speaks about the god Dionysus and gives us much of what we could assume or understand is the energy of the god and if the god is the energy of the festival that is the carnival the energy of the first of, 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 of the festival that is carnival that play sets up tension between a king named pentheus and the and the deity dionysus the deity dionysus one arrives from outside of the city the play talks about him as coming from the east in one of the translations is coming from the east so he's outside of the city and that's one so he's an outsider and that when he comes he has this magical power that can possess people that can intoxicate those that would want to come and dance in the road with him one of the persons who is possessed by his intoxicating power is the king pentheus's mother a woman named agave so now pentheus who already had problems with the idea of this energy coming into the, to the, to the kingdom and disrupting its, 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 its sanctity and sanity and sovereignty, I suppose, right? Is, um, is spending a lot of time in this play, hurling a set of derogatory, a, de a set of derogatory statements about, about the presence of, 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 of the deity that is Dionysus, right? Um, he captures, captures the god, the god tricks him to go back out in the forest and to see the women that follow him and so on but catch it one it is about the road Dionysus is leading these people in procession on the road there's a, there's a, a line that the chorus says in the play you on the street you on the road make way back us the way. Um, establishing for us in the play the centrality of the road as the place in which the processional ought to be performed the place in which the carnival finds its, its, its greatest um, um, resonance, fulfillment, right? That's one, the road. Um, and, that, and that idea about the centrality of the road to the carnival hasn't gone anywhere. A couple thousand years later, the Lord Kitchener, the, one of the greatest Calypsians of all time, the man who sings London is the place for me, is the man who sings in a Calypso called the road. The road made to walk on carnival day. Constable, I don't want to talk, but I have to say, any steel band man, only vent here to break this band is a long funeral to the Royal Hospital. The road make to walk on Carnival Day. Constable, a policeman, I don't want to talk what I have to say. If any steel band man, only vent here to break this band is a long funeral to the Royal Hospital. A man is warning the police that he don't want nobody to interfere with him when he come out in the road to dance. The same energy, the road as central to participating in the festival. That's one. Two is the woman. The play sets up Dionysus as a deity that can intoxicate the woman, the woman in particular, to the extent where when they come out in the road to dance with them, of course, they're behaving in the drunken stupor and so on, but they have miraculous powers that they could tear cows to pieces using only their hands. That's a, 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 real text, a line from the, from the text, um, that they would have this magic in their hands. Um, but the flip side of that is that these women who end up in the road following Dionysus are also um, um, spoken about in very derogatory terms by Pentheus, the king, who is opposed to Dionysus and Dionysus' presence. So there is the road and then there is the woman and the way in which we speak about the woman which, if we think about it, is not dissimilar to the ways in which we speak about a woman, the prudes among us, and the, I don't want to be a part of carnival so much among us, right? And not me and that carnival business, right? We talk about the woman in the same ways. We talk about a woman when they put on the costumes to come in the road to dance, about her, why they behaving like that, why they so skimpy, why they so this, why they so that, and so on. That, 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 that sentiment is still there, even a couple thousand years later, in how we speak about our woman. 
and there's a kind of um, there's a kind of echo there too to the idea, for example, in Trinidad of what became known as the Jamet. The Jamet, those who lived below the line of respectability, which is every African who was on a plantation who dared to participate in their own carnival in the world, right? We spoke about those people in the rubber three ways as well. What kind of behavior is that? Right? So the road, and then we have the women. The third thing that the play does, in terms of if it if it is a treatise, as it were, on the idea of carnival or the energy of the festival, is set up tension between the high and the low. Pentheus as the king is the high, Dionysus as the deity that the disruptive deity that comes to town is the low. Um, Pentheus is the king, the logical, the thinking, right? I think therefore I am uh, order as the head, the crown, the king. The low, Dionysus, the belly, the urge, the feeling, the gut feeling, the, uh, the, 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 the desire to whine, the desire to drink, the desire to have sex, right? The low, the, the low, is set up in the idea of Dionysus. And so there's a tension set up between high and low in that play. That is really very interesting, right? That's, that's, the, that's the tension in the play. And then, I think the fourth one that I want to reference for framing the conversation is the idea of the outsider. The play makes reference to Dionysus in one of its translations that's coming from the East. He is, in, in, in other words, as a presence, Dionysus does not belong to the kingdom that Pentheus is ruling over. He is an outsider. So where does that take us? How does that take us to this conversation on Leeds, West Indian Day Carnival, or how do those four points provide us with a, like a point of entry, right? This is how we might do it. One, the road as the road. We've already established the centrality of the road. The Leeds, West Indian Day Carnival is not a parade of costumes that happen indoors. It subscribes to the same thing, the importance of the road. And so it is open, it's outdoors and we enjoy the energy same way, right? Um, there's a Yoruba prayer. When translated, it says, Dancing outside opens the road. Heaven comes to earth for the benefit of all mankind. Setting up even the logic of the African presence. Because the idea of dancing in the road, I, I, I don't want to set up the idea of dancing in the road as some kind of Greek Western idea. That's not what it is. We need with essence here. And when we have essence talking about god energy and carnival and the idea of dancing in the road uh, and, and sorry and when we're talking about essence and the idea of carnival dancing in the road is part and parcel of what these fertility festivals are about right um pagwa is pagwa as a fertility fest festival is like that right carnival is fertility it's like that right? so that 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 energy hasn't gone anywhere either so the leads carnival subscribe to the dancing in the road we come into the road in the Leeds Carnival and, and almost have a conversation with the universe. All of us, we are spreading hand and let go, right? So the road, it's constant, as is, let's say, right? That's one. In the year that COVID hit, and uh, in the year that COVID hits, and nobody could participate in Carnival, Leeds broadcast to the world Three women, Khadija being one of them, by the way, coming out on the road, whether in jest or otherwise, to dance, to remember that that day that is supposed to be the carnival day is a day that people must come out on the road and dance. Um, it happened in Notting, Notting Hill too. People come out on the road, put on the costume and dance. But in Leeds, it was women. Some women come out on the road and dance. And when they come out on the road and dance, the people of the community were filled overjoyed and even supported them and they laughed the energy of carnival is also laughter it's joy you know um but it's the woman it is the woman who dared to come out in the road and confront covid and dance interestingly my contact with the leeds carnival was while I was in Leeds doing postgraduate work, so you know, the carnival is there and you're part of this thing, the oldest carnival in England, the oldest of the Caribbean style carnival in England. 
But when I left to come back to Trinidad, um, one of the things that happened is that a group of women from LS7 came to Trinidad to experience the Trinidad Carnival because they were part of Geraldine Connor's Carnival Messiah and so on to make sense of what they thought they wanted to, to get first-hand experience first-hand, right, you know, like right to inject or re-inject into the Leeds Carnival something that they thought that they wanted to do it was the woman that came, the woman, about four or five women from LS7 came to Trinidad, experienced the carnival and then come back up. Four women from LS7 and one from Manchester. Leave and come down and, and come back up. The woman. Again, the woman. Okay. Okay. But here's the twist. In the writings of Keith Nurse, Dr. Keith Nurse, when he talks about carnival and globalization, he says that one of the things carnival is, when they are transplanted into these spaces and become Caribbean style carnivals, is that they are spaces for these immigrant communities to affirm their presence. I'm translating loosely, but the essence is that carnival in these spaces are themselves the space for these immigrant communities to at once remember home and in so doing affirm their presence. So here we go. These West Indians come up on a boat, the wind rush, or the children thereof, to the place that was, that was once the center of the empire that when they were living in the Caribbean, they were subjects of the crown, the empire. But as soon as they land, like Dionysus, they're outsiders, except they come from the west. But in reality, they come from the east because they were originally taken from the east as in slave labor and then brought to the Caribbean where they organized themselves in a carnival on these plantations that, 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 that are islands that are now free. And then end up at the center of the empire and are now considered outsiders. No blacks, no Irish, no dogs. Just like Dionysus, outsiders. And when they land there, all they're trying to do is to live and to have a sense of what home is, to remember home. And to remember home is to do what? Right? It's where you cook, everything, music you listen to, and so on. But Carnival really is the is the, is, the, is, the, is the festival that organizes that memory, how we connect to the place. And in trying to remember home, because Carnival can't perform itself in the house, it had to perform in the road, what they end up doing is saying, look me. But the space is not ready for these people who are outsiders, who are immigrants, to have the audacity to say, Look me. Even though them ain't really confronting nobody, you know, all them really trying to do is to remember what it is as a community. And then we have the fourth principle. The head and the belly. The high and the low. The head perhaps being the crown. The British crown. The society. Before these immigrants come. And these people, the belly, the low, like Dionysus, landing on the foreign soil that they once respected as the center. London is the place for me. And finding themselves like Dionysus and Pentheus in this dance of tension. British society, as the head, is not ready for the immigrant outsider the West Indian, like Dionysus, when he lands in Pentheus's Greece. In the play, the Bacchae, there's a horrible end. That horrible end is that Dionysus himself is torn to pieces by the woman 
including his own mother, intoxicated with the energy of Dionysus. I don't know what that means in the context of contemporary British society, but I do know that insofar as the metaphors that we take from the play, which organize for us the cosmology and almost so easily read into how Carnavals perform themselves, including the Leeds Carnaval performing itself. Its desire for the road, like every other good Carnaval, the centrality of its women, right? In participating in it, in organizing in it, and in insisting on it at a time when the world say it must stop. In the fact of the outsider, being the energy of the carnival, the remembering of home and the affirmation of presence, and the fact of the tension of the high and the low being the ongoing dance of the, of the, of the, of the festival, the ongoing dance of the carnival. I don't know what the outcome is when the story manifests itself in real life. But what we do know is that there's enough in the cosmology, enough in the reading to understand that the energy suggest that there is victory for the outsider. And so as the eldest carnival in, 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 in the United Kingdom, it is not simply a privilege to be the oldest one and to show the rest of them how the thing is done, but to set up in many ways in its own performance some of the very principles that we've come to know that organize carnival and that tell us that this conversation is one that requires working out some time for the contest to resolve itself and that the carnival might not only be the place that retells the story of Dionysus and Pentheus or Osiris and whoever you know that performs the cosmology again but it might in fact be the space as many of the performance studies people and historians are writing now as the space in which we've been working ourselves out here in the Caribbean and even across there in the UK where the carnival has trans transplanted itself and it might very well be the place that the final verdict will be laid when we end up looking back on ourselves as we're singers in the diaspora Caribbean people in the diaspora perhaps that's what the reading of the cosmology, reading of the worldview, the reading of the play, and then the reading of the metaphors. Perhaps that is what it's saying to us. Perhaps that's what the offering is. Right? Give thanks. Give thanks for the opportunity to share. Trusting it was useful, all the same.